Hello friends, welcome to the November edition of Monthly Viewpoints. The month of October saw a risk on rally in equities globally. Even in India, we have seen a rally in the equity markets driven by better than expected Q2 earnings and expectations for the measures by the government to boost the economy. The market breadth has also improved. Mid caps have seen the best month in over the past seven months and now have rallied more than 10% over the past two months. On the global front, double easing by the US Fed and a continuing dovish stance by other central banks have led to easy liquidity, which is driving the risk on rally. The US and China are close to signing a phase one deal on the trade war, which will lead to a deflation in global trade and growth. Consequently, emerging markets are seeing a renewed interest from foreign investors. And India also saw FPI inflows of close to $2 billion in the month of October. On the domestic front, the economy is continuing to see some challenges. However, we are seeing a well-coordinated fiscal and monetary response from the government to try and erase the slowdown and boost the economy. To release liquidity in the system, the government has accelerated its spending, is looking at quicker disbursements of the PM Kisan installments, and repaying the outstanding GST refunds. The finance minister also recently announced the setting up of a 25,000 crore fund to try and reduce the stress in the real estate sector. The RBI has cut its policy rate by almost 135 basis points in the calendar year and further rate cuts are expected. It is also maintaining a surplus in the system liquidity. Going forward, it will be crucial to see a revival in the credit growth, a resolution of the ongoing NBFC issues and kickstarting of lending to the MSME sectors to get the economy back on track. We believe that GDP growth has likely bottomed out in the first half of fiscal year 20, and we should see an uptick from year going forward. The Q2 earnings season is in progress, and so far, the earnings have come ahead of subdued expectations. 32 of the 50 Nifty companies have announced earnings so far, and almost 75% of them have come either ahead or in line versus estimates. Companies in sectors such as auto, private and corporate banks, NBFCs, FMCG, IT and cement have done well. So far, adjusted PAT for the Nifty companies has grown almost 8% year over year. We believe that the corporate earnings growth should see an uptick from here as the economy recovers and now project FY20 Nifty earnings growth of close to 15% year over year. Coming to our view on the markets, the change in the government's stance from fiscal prudence to growth revival bodes well for investor sentiment going forward in the medium to long term. Themes of interest would be consumption, which includes the consumer durables, staples and retail sectors, financials, which covers the private and corporate banks, select NBFCs and insurance, industrials, which covers capital goods, infrastructure and cement, and pharma sectors. Now coming to valuations, over the past one year, the Nifty has risen almost 13%, but the mid caps and small cap indices are still down almost 3 to 8%. We think that the risk reward is fairly balanced by equities right now. For the large cap Nifty index, the yield gap ratio is marginally in the attractive zone, even as the one year forward PE for the Nifty is almost 20% at a premium to its long term average. The mid cap and small cap indices are still at a discount to the Nifty and are reasonably valued even as individual stocks in mid caps and small caps are still available at attractive valuations. Although returns over the short term may be modest, we believe that long term investors can get good returns and hence they should look at increasing the equity exposure at any downturns. We offer a basket of suitable funds for equity investors to choose from. Thank you and happy investing.